hello everyone and welcome back to my channel today I was so fortunate to go to a drive through food bank my aunt let me ride with her since you know I don't have a running vehicle right now and um, yeah so I'm gonna show you what I got all right how convenient my cereal containers for Cody um, we got uh, a bag of this cookie dough like a cereal I guess but it says cookie dough ruse so I'm not exactly sure it looks like s'mores like literally minus the little golden grams because look this is a cereal we got and this is the s'more cereal if you take out the golden grams doesn't that look just the same I don't know but it says it's cookie dough so it's probably flavor different check out my cookies I made yesterday don't they look so good mm. They were so good. Apparently, they're all gone except for. <laughs> anyway, so um, this drive-through, you put how many houses you're going for, and it was me and my aunt that went, but she didn't want her cereal, so she let me have it as well. So I got two, and then um, she didn't want her meat that we got today, which was jalapeno pepper jack burgers. Oh my gosh, I was so excited. Mitch loves this, and so we got two there. And then we just got a bag of chips. She didn't want hers. Um, so I figured those would be great, especially with clog camp and school. We could bag you these in little baggies for snacks. It would be perfect. Um, also, we got a ginormous bag of jalapenos, which I am going to make dehydrated jalapenos, even though I have a bunch in my pantry. Once they're dehydrated, they last for a long time. I can add them to my soups this winter. I can make stuff with it and rehydrate them so to preserve them I'm going to be dehydrating these here in the next day or two um, and she didn't want hers either because it's just easier for her to use a canned one I guess so yeah so I got two giant bags of jalapenos I'll be processing shortly and then a pumpkin pie oh my gosh it makes me wish it was fall already I haven't put anything away so now we're moving to the table we got this box of rosemary. Um, it's six containers of fresh rosemary. And then uh, this big box here. Um, we got four beans. Well, we each got two, but she already had plenty of these um, at her house. And so she said I could just have them all. And so I have four things of nectarines, which the last haul that I got, um, I have one left, which I'll probably be eating here in just a minute. It's so good. They're so good. Oh my gosh, they're super fresh. And then a big box of produce here. Um, it was for us to share, but she said I could just have all of it. And so, yeah, I'm probably going to be um, zucchini. Man, I need recipes. I, I know that I could make zucchini bread, but I don't really want to do that. But anything else you can think of, I'm probably going to definitely like saute some, um, like a stir fry, I think, for sure. And then I got a bunch of cucumbers, which I may get some red onions when I go out next time and uh, make some pickled cucumbers and onions. And then I got a whole bunch of these. Oh, that one looks like it's going bad. Darn it. Well, cut that off. The rest is still good. Um, get that bad one out of the bunch, though, before it makes the rest bad. But yeah, so all these little peppers, probably dehydrate those today. Oh, another bad one. But that's okay. It doesn't mean the whole bunch is bad. And that's what I think a lot of people don't understand, um, is that all this would end up in the garbage, but there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, yeah, there was two bad ones, but the rest of these are good. So I will be dehydrating all these today. I, can you dehydrate zucchini? Like, how would you do it? Could you, like, chunk it up and then, I don't know. I know that this looks like at least has a couple days before it has to be used. Cucumbers, probably a day or two. But yeah. Oh my gosh, wait. There was a few more items. Hold on. I haven't put stuff away. I got a, one banana. I think that's banana squash. And then this box full, which half. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four per family. But she said they wouldn't eat it, so... She gave it to us because Cody likes spaghetti and it's got Alfredo sauce. So this is like um, just an instant meal. You just heat it up on your stove, boil the water, 
and cook your pasta and add your sauce it's like all in there and it's good until February of next year so that's like several months so what is it it's August September October November December January February six months yeah easy easy peasy yummy all right guys Whew. I'm gonna leave that there for now because I got other things to do I got meat to put away I got peppers to slice um, Cody has schoolwork to do. It is going to be a busy, busy day. Um, but I hope that you all are having a wonderful day. I hope that you are getting the food that you need to feed your families. Um, if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. And make sure you turn on notifications so you get notified every time I post a new video. Um, I know that I personally am going through a lot of hard times right now, not having a vehicle, trying to pay off Mitch, Mitch's um, implant, dental implants, and stuff like that, but I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to do some kind of a giveaway as it gets closer to the end of November. Hopefully we'll be a little bit better off. Um, so make sure you turn on notifications so you don't miss out on that because it's going to be something to do with food that help those in need because I know that there's so many out there that are in need. and. I just want to be able to help and give back and you guys are so awesome you're watching my videos you're loving me and loving my family and it just means the world to me and I want to be able to give back and so yeah all right I'm gonna go for now but I would just want to let you know that we love you and we appreciate you and yeah take care of yourselves guys and I will see you in my next video